story is Bill and Pete by Tommy De Paola. William Everett Crocodile lived on the banks of the River Nile with his mama. And one day mama said, William Everett, now that you have a nice crocodile teeth, you must go to Mr. Hippo's store and get you a toothbrush before you start school tomorrow. William Everett liked Mr. Hippo's store because it was full of things and he and Mama walked up one aisle and down another. They stopped in front of the toothbrush counter. You may choose one of your own toothbrushes, William Everett, Mama said. And William Everett looked and he looked and he looked. Hi, said the toothbrush. What's your name? My name's William Everett. What's yours? Pete, said the toothbrush. I found the toothbrush I want, Mama, said William Everett. His name is Pete. Oh, good, Mama said. We can go home now. So Pete became William Everett's toothbrush and his best friend, too. The next morning, Mama said, William Everett, wake up. It's time to go to school. Oh, Mama, William Everett said, I can't wait to read and write and learn all about crocodile history. Someday, I will be proud of you, William Everett, said Mama. Now, class, said Mrs. Ebris, today we're going to learn the alphabet, and then we'll be able to write our names. Now repeat after me. The little crocodiles all repeated after Mrs. Ebris. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. They said the whole alphabet. They said the letters over and over and over until they knew them all by heart. Well, William Everett, said Mama, what did you learn in school today? William Everett, say the alphabet, said Pete. William Everett said every letter without a mistake. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Oh, William Everett, Mama said, that was beautiful. The next day, Miss Ebris taught the class how to write the letters. The little crocodiles wrote the letters over and over and over and over until they could write them all by heart. And what did you learn today, William Everett, Mama asked? William Everett, write the letters, said Pete. And William Everett wrote every letter without one mistake. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. You are so smart, William Everett, Mama said. Someday you will be famous. Today, class, we are going to write our names, said Mrs. Ebris, and she showed all the little crocodiles just what letters each one had in his or her name. And they wrote 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 and they, wrote, and they smiled and smiled and smiled and smiled and smiled. And the letters spelled out Sam, Jane, John, Kate, Kay, Tom, Amy. They all wrote and they smiled some more. All except William Everett. He had so many letters in his name that he kept forgetting at least one of them. A W, there's a T, there's an I, there's an E, L, B. Gosh, oh my goodness, there's just so many. Poor William Everett. He had big tears running down his nose. Is something wrong, William Everett? Pete asked. I'll never learn how to write my name, he cried. It has too many letters. Oh. Now, now, William Everett, said Pete, I think I can help you write your name, but let's not forget any letters. So he took a pencil and he wrote. Did you learn something today, William Everett, asked Mommy. Yes, Mama, I learned how to write my name, said William Everett. Oh, Bill, B-I-L-L. -L. And one Saturday, when there was no school, Bill and Pete went down the River Nile and sat on the banks of the sun, and a man on a bicycle went riding by. Behind the bicycle were cages filled with crocodiles. I wonder what that is all about, said Bill.
that's the bad guy. And those crocodiles are on their way to Cairo to become suitcases, said an old crocodile swimming by. Watch out so he doesn't catch you. But then he did. The very next Saturday, Bill and Pete were finish, fishing, and they didn't hear the bad guy creep up behind them. The bad guy lassoed Bill and put him in a cage. He didn't pay any attention to Pete. Pete tried to peck the bad guy, but Pete was just too small. Oh, poor Bill. He was on his way to Cairo. All he could think about was suitcases. Brave Pete. He stayed right by his friend the whole way. The bad guy put Bill in his garden, and he went into the house. Run. Give me a nice hot tub, Jeeves, said the bad guy to his butler. I will take a bath before dinner. I caught me another crocodile today, and I need a nap. Call me when the bath is ready. Tomorrow that crocodile becomes a suitcase, he added. Now, not if I have anything to do with it, said Pete. I'm more than just a toothbrush. And Pete picked the lock with his beak. Quick, Bill, let's get out of here, said Pete. No, I'm mad, said Bill. I'm going to make sure there are no more crocodile suitcases. Bill climbed to the wall. He crept through the living room into the bathroom. Your bath is ready, sir, said Jeeves. And there was Bill, right with the rubber ducky. That bad guy jumped out of the window and didn't stop running until he got all the way back to Cairo. Oh, look, a nice dinner, said Pete. I am hungry, said Bill. 